Thank you. Talk about a grim milestone for Philadelphia. The city has reached 500 homicides for the second year in a row. And this comes as there were three double shootings in the span of 12 hours. Let's get right out to Steve Keeley because there is some things that are happening right now. They had a news conference yesterday, Steve. Yeah, but the negative is still happening. Look at this video. So this happened at 2.07 this morning. So they can talk all they want and try all they can to stop the violence, but it's still going on. So this is a couple, a woman 24 years old, guy 22. They're in this Dodge SUV right at Jackson and Brill. Uh, that car is just beyond that corner because they flew to try to avoid being killed. 16 shots go through the driver's door and the passenger door. The woman in the driver's seat is hit on the left side, and the 22-year-old male in the passenger seat also hit in the left arm. He gets out, but they find 16 shells back at the corner there, and the latest violence, these two somehow survived, but somebody was out to kill them, and probably is surprised that they didn't after firing 16 shots point blank into that car at 207. I'm 51. I've been living in the city all my life. I'm not the best guy, but like, it's worse than I've ever seen it. With all the efforts we've been making, uh, policing and with the community intervention, uh, is beginning to turn the curve down in, in, the, in another direction. Um, I do believe that obviously this is not anywhere near where we want to be, but I will argue that back a number of years ago, 299 was too high, 199 is too high, 250 is too high, 300 is too high. One's too high, uh, but I do believe that the efforts we've been making uh, and con will continue to make and expand uh, will continue to drive that curve, curve down. We not only expect visibility, but we want people out of their cars. We want people out and engaging. We want officers connecting with those in the neighborhoods so that we can be there to either prevent a crime or make arrests in a very timely manner. So both police and residents and city officials were at least happy to see that they're acknowledging the problem and making steps to try to stop the problem or at least slow it down as we end this year and begin a new one. Thomas Karen, We can only hope and pray and I hope those actions will work. Thank you, Steve.